everybody, it's Brandy, and you are watching Abstract Crafter. Today's video is a framing video. I'm going to show you how to take these two beautiful little paintings I have and DIY ourselves some permanent homes for these guys. So, if you're curious what I have in store, then just keep on watching and we'll get into that as soon as we roll those intro credits. Why hello friends, welcome back. And if you're brand new, welcome. S hope you uh, stick around, subscribe, hit that like button, show me some love, hit the bell, so you're always updated when new videos like this one drop. So, like I said in the intro, we are gonna give these guys a new permanent home. They've been sitting in my stash for quite a while and I think it's time to start getting some framing done for some of these so what I do have a little bit of a clip that I'm gonna insert in a minute here but I do have the basics is that I cut a couple of 12 by 12 boards it just worked out that way I didn't try to I actually thought I'd have to do a lot of cutting and adjusting I'm gonna take some scrapbook paper like this one adhere it to the board like this one and then, because these have special gems on them, you can't really put them in a regular frame. Plus, I wanted to kind of do something different. So, it's going to have a lot of background, and that might not be everyone's aesthetic, but that's what I wanted in particular for this. And so, it's just another way to do this. And I'm going to show you how, how to do it all. We're going to do it together, basically. So, I guess it's not so much me showing you as it is doing it together. So, I'm going to insert a little clip here of how I got these frames, where the materials I got them sourced from, and all that fun stuff. And then we'll be back to start trimming the excess off of these. We don't need this stuff. And I need to grab some glues and stuff that will hopefully adhere this. Otherwise, we may have to go the route of using washi tape. I'm really hoping I don't have to do that because I spent a long time picking out paper to use for backgrounds for these guys. All right, so take a quick peek at this little bonus clip, I'll just say. All right, my friends, I just wanted to fill you in on where we're at with this because this is something a little different. I haven't seen anybody frame in quite this way and because they're special drills that can't go in a traditional frame this is why I had to think a little bit outside the box. So what I've done so far is that these boards were left here. Uh, I think that they were part of an old garage door like an old wooden garage door so they're the particle board like that. So I measured 12 by 12 feet which is a, roughly the size of scrapbooking paper. And then my husband cut them. We found these sawhorses. They left a lot of useful stuff here, at least for DIYers like us. So, like, the boards were left here. The sawhorses were left here. And kind of wanted to fill you in on the progress so far so you can see everything. So right now, these are the boards cut down 12 by 12. I've sanded them with this rougher grit here oops right here <laughs> what see what is this it's because it's got a i don't want to end up getting slivers from it so it's a 330 and then i just went down to a 220 and it's a little coarse but not super coarse i didn't want to take a whole i didn't want to take anything off i just wanted to smooth it out so you can see up close that's what we're dealing with and then i'm gonna spray paint these so that nothing chips off you don't get slivers from them and then i got a little clever way a little hack to show you how to hang something um so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i've sanded with the 330 and now i'm going in with the 220 doing it by hand because i borrowed my sander out i had no idea i was going to be doing this so i'm just about done with this one and then i'm going to spray paint this one red and i think that one will go white so 
that's, I just wanted to fill you in a little bit on this part. So, hi Tyrion. Yeah. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm back. I just wanted to kind of fill you in as I go along. So I've wiped these down. I'm done sanding them and kind of the way I went about it is... I, it's not going to be super obvious, but I like rounded the corners a little bit. I tried to round these off just to kind of make it, give it a little softer appearance, which may not be super obvious until, you know, it, it may never be obvious. And that and some of the corners were chipped before we even started cutting it. And so I'm going to try this paint first because it's a hobby craft enamel and it's gloss. Uh, I... There's this place in our town, well, in the town next door, when you go over that big scary bridge, where you can recycle chemicals and paint and stuff, and people in the area can go there and sort through it and pick up, you know, if you need stain or paint or any kind of cleaner or anything, it's all free. And so I picked up a bunch of these hobby ones, and I thought I had red, but I don't. But, oops, and I drop it. I do have this, but I think that with the painting itself being red, this is just going to be overkill plus if it doesn't match exactly. So, I have a few other options, but looking at the painting, I don't think these will match. I'm going to spray the back clear. I have a little bit left in that. Um, there's this, like, brown, like, kind of a dirty it's like i don't know it's got a little bit of red in it but then i have this really pretty satin brushed metallic color it dries in 10 minutes but it i don't know and i do have this american accents classic in a gold and then but i think white will really accentuate it the best i have i have no objections to painting but these are some of the other paints that i've picked up from there mostly purples and blues and then this green because this was almost full and you'll run across that a lot or a lot of times you'll come across these sample cans and i like to pick those up too because you just never know when you'll need a dusty dirty can of you know, it, it would be just enough to do a small project. So I like to pick those up. So I just wanted to fill you in a little bit on that. So the plan now is to go and give them an initial coat of white. And then um, we'll get on with it. I would have liked to stain them if they were actual full pieces of wood. But uh, the show must go on. And I'm going to give these an initial coat. And then I'll check back in with you. So... I tried both the whites, neither one of them worked because that's just my luck and that's kind of a chance you take when you get them from a recycling plant. <laughs> so I did go with this one because I thought it would go better with the red and if not then I'll spray it gold. You can see where it's still wet and I touched it on accident. Good thing it's getting covered. And then there's like a little something or other there but so I went with that and then I went with silver for the unicorn still think she would have looked better with white but she's just got a lot of silver in the picture so the piggy gets gold the unicorn gets silver now let's just hope that the can of gloss actually works because neither one of those white ones did i guess i should really try them with all three of them because if they don't work then it's time to uh, bring them back to the recycling plant and actually have them get rid of them so that's where i'm at right now i don't know if i'll film another part to this little clip or if the video will just carry on with the rest of the framing uh either way i'll see you there okay nice and easy huh <laughs> nothing to it all you need is a little hand saw and <laughs> spray paint so the paper does hang off a tiny, tiny bit because it was just shy of 12 inches. So I am going to trim a little bit off. And then I tested my paper trimmer to see if it would, if I could just use that to cut. And I just did a little corner. And it looks like it will, but I want to cut the paper first just in case. I really need to switch out my background for something more holiday-esque, I think. 
And I'm okay if a little bit, like, if I cut the paper short and a little bit of trim hangs, I kind of anticipate that because I did the clear coat just a, just a tad over. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to cut a little bit off of two of the sides to not much, just a hair right on that first, this first line. That's all I'm going to go to. And see what it looks like if I need to trim more than I will. But I don't want to lose a whole lot of the background. So I chose this rainbow one to go with the pig. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. To go with the unicorn. Because, of course, I went through, like I said, a lot. And it took a long time. And it was actually really easy. There was so many options for this one. It was the pig that I had a lot of troubles finding something I liked. Alright. Lined up. And let's just see how it fits here. I am such a messy crafter. It's unreal how bad. If you could just see what my desk looks like right now. So it's just the smallest bit of silver showing and I'm okay with that I kind of like that because I did do the edges well that's the rough edge so there is the smooth edge which is what I want to be on the side so it actually is gonna hang like this but it doesn't really matter so I wanted to try a couple things first I want to of course make it as easy as possible and I want to try this to see how well it'll stick. If it doesn't work, I will go to this. I might go over the top of it regardless with this to give it not so much. To protect the paper is what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. So I, that's the plan as of now. I do got a piece of plastic here to protect my stars. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got little bits of everything everywhere. Like, I'm in the process of filming a million different videos all in one. So this will, video will obviously go a little long for a framing video, but that's because it's making a, it's taking the place of this week's drill with me. So there we go. Nice piece of plastic as a drop cloth for my spray adhesive. I want my, the finished sides. Well, to be what you see on the sides. Because nobody really looks at the top and the bottom, but you always see the sides of the... Of. So let's get you as center as possible. You won't, might not be able to see everything. Obviously, you want to give it a nice, good shake. I've worked with this a little tiny bit, and it is very, very sticky. So, I'm going to give it a nice generous coating. I don't know how fast I have to work. Hopefully it has a little bit of room for error. A little bit. Oh yeah. That's exactly why I have the plastic behind it because who the overspray on it. Maybe I was a little too generous. I'm gonna grab my bone folder here and we'll just I was going to implore the methods I use with my dollhouse, but which is smoothing it out as much as I can. And the paper is a little crooked, but you know what? I'm going to go with it. It looks fine. So now what I think I'm going to do is, well, obviously we want to try to figure out the center of that. Do you see the cat here? It's on the screen. Okay. It's not on my actual camera. Yeah, that overspray is intense. Um, all right, now we might as well just cut off the extra here. At one point, I was going to go in with glitter on these. I don't know if it's even tacky enough. It is. So I still could go in with glitter on that. We better go this way. And I'm going to try to... I mean, this thing, it, wherever the metal is, is, 
like the wire is where it's supposed to cut. You know, and this is just, I just wanted to do a f framing and show you guys this way because it's so possible to take materials you have lying around your house. Well, that did a pretty good job. And just DIY your way through. I don't think you need to, while we're at it, let's just cut the piggy. I don't think you need to go and spend a bunch of money because I obviously found this wood in my garage from the previous owners and the spray paint, as you saw, was free from the recycling place, the chemical recycling place, so I didn't have to pay for that. Well, the silver I did because, but I had already bought that for a different project. And it was left over, so essentially it was free. Let's see if that one was on. See, it cuts just a little bit off. I'll just clean that up with my craft scissors before we move on. I don't honestly think you'd even notice. It's possible to frame these for very cheap or free even. So now that will be center. And I know like this is kind of, it might throw you off, but it is a light blue. I don't know if you can see that. It's supposed to blend in. And initially, like I said, I wanted to, I don't, oh, sorry, go in with silver right here because I thought it was weird, but now I kind of like that it's white. And, ooh, look at that sparkle. Yes, I'm excited about this. And then I'll even show you my plan. And you know, you really could go in with washi tape if you had something just to give it another layer. Let me peek at my stash and see if there's, Something that might go well with this. If not, I'm just going to go with it how it is. And if you didn't like the extra border, like I'm keeping, you can cut right up to the glue line. If you can see the glue line there, you can cut up to that. And I don't seal my diamond paintings, though I do have a sealing video coming up. And it's just more of an experiment. I don't want to say what it is, because I don't want somebody to beat me to it. Because I have not yet seen anybody do it this method that I want to share with you. Uh, I, I, the whole point of me telling you that is that I could do that to these, but I don't want to. I'm, just in case it doesn't work. If it works, I'll come back. I'll build a little dam around this whole thing, and I'll seal it. So this is the paper I picked out for the piggy, and I struggled with this one, but I ultimately went with it because I liked that the pink it brought out the pink in the nose. I was going to go with red, but I was having a really hard time finding a red to match this closely. I wasn't looking for an exact match, but I'm going to do the same thing with this. And it's got a gold background instead of, um, oops, I'm bumping you, instead of the silver. And hindsight being 2020, I should have went with silver. But I wanted them to be a little bit different since... They are different. And I actually thought that my son would want to steal the piggy, but he didn't seem too interested. And this itty bitty bit that I am cutting off, I am still keeping for scraps in card making because I think they'd make really cute ribbons, paper ribbons. Okay, lining that up nicely. All right. All right, let's see. I may need to trim off a little more. And I, I don't mind if a little bit more gold shows through than the, the silver. I'm trying to get an idea of wh where I'm at with this. So the sides look like they have more to show than the top and bottom. So I'm going to trim a little bit more off of the top. It's actually not quite square, and I know that... I set the measurements for my husband, so if the measurements are off, that's my fault. That, and we were hand sawing it. We didn't really think that it was necessary to dig out the chainsaw for this, <laughs> though it would have been fun. And like I said, this is probably going to show a little bit more of the border than the other one, but it's alright, because maybe Talon will change his mind once it's all said and done. All right, that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with the, again, it's this Craft Bond spray adhesive. It's really good actually for sewing projects. 
And all I'm doing is I'm going up and down and then side to side to make sure that I'm not missing anything, especially those corners. All right, so once you put it down, this one does not give you any wiggle room. So I'm trying to like do the best I can and it's gonna be off, but you know, it's a DIY project. So it's not meant to look super perfect. And we're gonna take the bone folder. I love this bone folder for so many things if you haven't gotten one yet. What are you doing? It's perfect for flattening out your diamond painting covers. It helps get creases and stuff out. It's perfect for paper crafting, obviously. All right, so now we gotta get rid of this sticky backdrop. That is really sticky. All right, so on to phase two. And just to show you, that's what we got with that. And that's what the piggy will look like. I actually think he might benefit from some washi tape, but we'll see. If I did, I think I would go with a gold to tie the gold outside. So let me pause you and look through my stash to see where what would I got. And this is definitely one of those times where I wish I was live streaming because I have this really pretty gold like lacy border and I like that a lot and I think it would be okay. Let's see. Oh, oh it's got the paper backing on it. But I think that that would work to tie in the gold. And then I have these gold glitters, but I don't know if that's too much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to take away from the glitter or the sparkle. I actually don't think it would. But then I have this duller, thicker glitter that I like a lot too. Let's see. Come on. And this one doesn't have a paper backing. And I actually think that the, that's a better match. And I think I'm going to go with this simply because it doesn't have the paper backing. And first things first, I got to adhere the canvas to the board. I'm not, not going to do a spray, but I do need something that's quick drying and that will not you know, wrinkle the canvas, which I don't know if it's even possible with how thick it is. So, for that, but I heard that this stuff was really good, but in looking on the back, it looks like it's more for paper to paper, bonds paper to paper in one minute. We'll try it out. That's all you can do. And if it doesn't work, then you just go with something else. It does say to allow more time for attaching metal and plastic. This isn't, it's fabric. So, I mean, I could go with a fabric type glue. I just don't want to do that. I don't know how well any of this will stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a nice generous layer. And I'm going to go in with my finger. Actually, and spread it out. And you want to try to get that as thin and even as possible. And I don't know, like I said, if this will even work. And I'm staying away from the edges just for a moment. Just because I don't want to get it on the paper where I don't, you know, where it's not needed. I want to just keep it kind of in the center for now. And then I'll come back in and get around those edges, but this dries so dang fast that you kind of got to work fast. So if you're not a fast worker, then you want to go with a glue that's more like you, that works more at your speed. And I need that kind of glue depending on the project from time to time. So like I said, I'm just going to keep, now I'm doing the edges. I just don't want to do it onto the paper because it will leave a mark and I can already see where it's done that. And I'll just pick it up now and it seems to be 
okay for this, just in my limited experience. But from working on doll houses, I, I worked with quite a variety of different materials, which is why I have a million and one different types of glue as it is, because one thing doesn't always work for everything. I do have some other glues that I know will work, but I gotta get some use out of some of these that I've only had to use once or twice. So that's why I wanted to try this one first. Plus it was really expensive for some craft glue. I wanna say I paid like eight or nine dollars and I've seen it as high as 12 at Hobby Lobby for because of the brand name, I'm sure. All right, so that seems like a pretty even coat. I know you can see some ridges and stuff, but that's quite all right. So much like the spray adhesive, you want to try to get that right where you want it. It's not going to give you a whole lot of wiggle room as far as adjusting where you put it. And now I won't also be able to go in with the bone folder on this, so I have to make sure that it's nice and flat, specifically on the edges. I can get in with the bone folder on that, and that glue seems to be perfect, and I'm being very careful not to set this finger down on top of the beautiful little piggy face. So now I'll take that bone folder and try to, try to get those edges, because that's the one place you don't want it peeling up if you're not going to use a finishing tape, like washi tape, which probably wouldn't even stick for very long. I just don't find... I love washi tape. I love the look of it. I'm addicted to buying it, that's for sure. But I just don't find it to be very effective long term. It's great in paper crafting and stuff, but crafting, crafting, you want to go with a little bit stronger tape. And I'm using the washi tape purely for decorative reasons. Also, at the end, I will take you off of the tripod and show you. See, I am a little off center. I have less space on top than bottom, but overall, I am incredibly happy with this. I wanna put some pressure on that, and you wanna allow that to dry overnight before you go to hang it on the wall, because gravity will work against you. So once I put the tape down, I'm going to put some heavy books on there just to kind of help with the glue. And I am going to take the washi tape and put it on there just as kind of an extra, like, finishing. And because it will show up when you layer it on top of each other. Oh yeah, I like that. Again, now, this may not be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. And I also forgot to grab my craft scissors, and that's okay, too. I should have. What I should have did is kind of angled each cut on the corner to give it a really finished look. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I am so in love with that. See, now you can kind of, if I angle it, you can see a little bit better. And again, you know, choices and preferences in the paper and stuff. You know, it's going to be different from person to person. I probably would have preferred a red, a full red, especially using the gold washi tape now, the gold sparkly washi tape. But, you know, you can only do what you can do. And I just didn't have a good red color that I was happy with. Thankfully, this isn't patterned, so I can get away with not using or not having to be super accurate with my cuts. Because otherwise my OCD could get the best of me on that. And then I'm going to show you a really quick hack. Uh, because obviously this doesn't have a hanger. You could buy, like, the picture frame. They have, like, kits that you can buy in Walmart. And I've seen them in the dollar stores. I've seen them at Menards. I've seen them everywhere. Anywhere that they sell picture frames, you should be able to find them. But we're going to hack it because this is free or nearly free. Okay, so for the camera view we got, that's where we're at with this. I'm going to go ahead with the bone folder because I use it for everything. And just kind of try to get that pressed down, especially where it lays on top of each other and around the edges. 
and just really push down with as much mite as I possibly can just to make sure that there's a nice bond. I'm not so much worried about it sticking to the diamond painting because there's a little bit of glue hangover. But so there's this one. I like it. It's nice and it looks, it has a very classy. And now we have our more whimsical one. And again, I did silver on this one. And I just, I just don't think that the gold would have worked as well. I actually would have preferred to get a really light blue like this one. And the only reason I am tempted to use washi tape on this one too is just to give it that cleaner look. It looks more finished. It's almost like a frame inside of a frame then. But I don't know what I got in my little... I need to re-up is what I need. Because all I really have is I have this purpley stuff, which might work. But it's not quite the same pink as what's in her hair. So I hesitate on that point. I do have some rainbows, but that's just going to be overkill. So you see my dilemma here. I have like these polka dots. But I think that, again, is overkill. So I honestly think the only one I have is this one that will do the job. And it's kind of a pinky purple. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like after we get her adhered down. So I noticed I had a little bit more than I needed with that one. And I'm just seeing all kinds of cat hair sticking than I needed with that last one. So I'm going to try not to use as much. I'm just so excited for you guys to see this and give me your advice. If you think one those washi tapes would have been better suited for either one of those, please let me know in the comments down below. I can easily, easily change out the washi tape. That is something that's easy to do. If you have any other suggestions on what you might have done differently kindly let me know in the comments i i love hearing other ideas and such if they're you know this is just what i thought of in the moment so if there's other ideas that maybe might have worked a little better is there anything that you saw while glancing over my supplies that i showed you in the little clip or and or whatever that maybe sparked an idea with you that you think I should try. I love hearing your ideas. Uh, don't tell me that my idea is stupid and I should have done this because that will not go over well with me. And you'll probably get deleted and blocked because that's not diverse. That's judgy and I am bound and determined to create a safe space, at least in my space. Uh, no bully zone. I have zero tolerance for it, whether it be in my Facebook group or on my YouTube channel, wherever it may be, I'm instituting of zero policy and I wish more channels would do the same thing. If you see it in your comments, don't put up with it. You know what I mean? If you see it in comments and or in my comment section or anywhere that if there's something you think I might be able to do, like to reach out to a creator on your behalf, I'm more than happy to do that. I can do it anonymously, but that is my new goal, is to eliminate bullying. I can't get rid of it in all of YouTube. I know I said that in a different video. That's just beyond my capabilities, but I certainly can do my part as much as I possibly can. So with that being said, let's have a healthy discussion in the comments. All right, so I know I've been a little bit off-center this whole time, but I have a bunch of work stuff over there for this. Stuff I've been working with. So, again, just try to get that as center as you possibly can. Nobody's going to judge you if it's crooked. At least of all me. <laughs> you should see everything in my life is crooked. Like when we hang on the pictures on the wall, it's almost like a running joke in my family. If there's not something crooked on our walls, then we must be ill. You know, I really like the way it looks, but it does look a little raw and unfinished, which is why I'm making the decision to go ahead and go with some washi tape, which is just a bummer. Uh, this video, if you had, didn't catch on, this will be the only one that is done as a premiere. I'm going to do the first video of each week as a premiere because that's how I'm going to be able to check in with you. You guys can give me your ideas live and tell me what you're thinking. Um... I do the premieres so that I can, you know, be present with you guys in, in the moment. Uh, hear your thoughts, your ideas, my regulars, uh, my lurkers, all of you. 
you know, I, I'd like to hear and see you and know that you're just, just know that I have your support. That means so much to me. And look at this one is see-through too, dang it. I don't, oh, you can't see because I'm off camera. You know, I don't think it looks bad. I could double layer that and I just might. I said I could go double layer and I could, that actually ended up working out pretty good. I mean, her hair is so dark in contrast to the rest that it's just a little hard to match that. And when, once I took that out of the equation, it made finding the perfect piece, like just, it was pretty immediate. Like this tape is not wanting to stick. You can see it curling back up and I'm guessing that's going to be a problem long term. All right, let's just finish this up. So I can let you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this framing video. Like I said, like I was, I think what I was getting to before I interrupted myself with the whole bully speech is if you have ideas, please share them for framing. I can do this again. I have so many diamond paintings that need framing. So if there's something that you would like me to try, I'm happy to do that. And then with the ceiling video, I'm telling you, though, that's going to be the only one I do like that. I'm not a fan of sealing my paintings, but that's a personal preference. I'm not sitting here judging other people or other creators for liking that. I get why people do it. It's my OCD. It's my OCD that makes me that way in this particular on this issue. So... Please don't feel like you're doing anything wrong because you like sealing your videos. Don't let me make you feel that way. Because that's not at all my intentions on that. And the reason that I'm doing this is to for you guys. The reason I'm doing the sealing video is for you guys that like doing it. So that you can... Uh, because I, I think I have a product that is just going to blow the socks off of that aqua stuff. That everybody's been such a big fan of. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. It's just that that's a glue. And what I have to show you guys is completely different. This washi tape already sucks. Oh my gosh. It's not wanting to stick up down at all. I can seal it peeling up. This might have... this. It's the tape. It's the stickiness of this particular washi tape. I'm trying not to touch it too much so that it doesn't peel up but dang is it ever bad maybe maybe pushing really hard with the bone folder uh, i will link this i have this in my amazon influencer store i do have a few different options i think of bone folders I, it, it would be under my favorite i don't know either under the crafty stuff or diamond painting accessories it's going to be listed under one of those. But, all right, let's see if that'll be enough to keep this one from popping up. I don't know. I hate washi tape that does that. And I hate that I have to use the word hate. I'm really trying not to touch it, but it wants to be persistent and curling up on me. So now I have to touch it and hope that that doesn't affect it. And that's driving me nuts. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to now go over this with some clear just to make it work. I just don't understand why. Because it's like perfect now. It's like it was what exactly what was needed to tie this together. But it's going to keep peeling up. I just don't want to have to use tape. Like <laughs> scotch tape. Oh, look it. There's some dark pink that matches. Let's see if this is just as cheap. It's patterned, so. Oh, paper backed. Why? Why is everything paperbacked? Maybe that is a little better than this stuff. It is. It actually is. <clears throat> Let's do it. I don't know if I like the contrast yet. You have to let me know in the comments if that's okay. If you guys like that. If you don't, that's perfectly okay with me. You don't have to like it. You just have to like me. Let's get this done so then I can take you down and show you the finished project. I just think it might be too many patterns going on and I am a huge fan of mixing patterns. So I think I'm just overthinking it is what it is. I honestly think that's what's going on here. 
All right, I'm going to take you guys down and give you close-ups of both of these. This has been an immensely long video before I edit, so good lord, I like to chat, don't I? All right, here we go. So we're starting at the bottom. I gotta, that's kind of, I'm getting in my own way. That's what the border ended up looking like. It's not terrible, but as a whole, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, or if you're watching this premiere live, let me know. I'm just doing a once over and then I'll back up and give you the full view. So there's the picky one and I'm actually a lot happier with this one than I am with the unicorn. Oddly enough, I had the easiest time picking it out. Alright, so let's back up. Please don't judge my mess, please. I'll try to Oh no, I gotta show you how to hang these, don't I? Yes. That's really quick, I promise. So there's that one. How far back can I get? There we go. You can see a little bit of my mess. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is Miss Magic. Oh, as she twists and twirls around. It's not bad. I like the background on it a ton. That's why I was so happy. It's the washi tape that I think I don't like. So I'll probably end up switching that out at some point when I get the right stuff. Okay. I need to go grab the other thing that I needed to show you how to hang these hack-wise. You're going to love it. I hope you're going to love it. So we're back into position <laughs> on the mount. God, I'm just not making myself sound very good. I'm so sorry. Pop tabs. Pop tabs. I don't know if one is going to be enough, honestly. But you can use these as holders. So in this case, I probably would want two on each one, but I only ripped one off, or two off, one for each one, just because I don't think one will be enough. Or the other thing you can do is, is you can take string attach it you can get some eye hooks put them on the top here and here and you can tie up a string which is the way I think I might go since this is so small and I will insert pictures here of the finished product and if I get them hung in time before I go to editing which I don't think I will but I will insert pictures here at least of these guys in better lighting <laughs> since I know I'm going to be editing this in sunlight and it's dark right now and uh, with that guys I hope you liked this first framing video uh, I'm glad you came by to watch this with me and stay tuned for Wednesday we'll have I don't know if it's gonna be the ceiling video or the other framing video the other framing video is gonna be one I had promised a long time ago probably the way back in January or February and where we're going to be taking some of the drills off the canvas, replacing them to clean up the canvas a little bit. It's a blackboard or chalkboard diamond painting with a quote on it. And the quote's just a little hard to read. So I want to pull some of the diamonds off and replace them and make it a little bit easier to read. And it's just going to be a traditional framing, but that part of it where we're replacing drills and kind of customizing the painting. And then, of course, I have that ceiling video for you and then there should be some great videos in between some hauls some craft videos some new product reviews all kinds of fun stuff so uh make sure you turn those notifications on subscribe please like this video hit the like button it helps my video get seen so that we can uh make our family grow and with that i will let you go have an awesome day have fun doing whatever it is that truly, truly makes you happy. I love you, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Maybe I'll do my nails before the next video. <laughs>